everybody and here we are with yet another amazing video on your favorite YouTube channel Bhanzu and today this is first of all your educator Hari Priya today we are going to talk about uh, linear equations in one variable that but this is session number two right so before we move forward do not forget to like this video share this video with all the eighth graders who think yeah linear equation is so difficult so I am here to make it easy peasy pizza cheesy for all of you and if you haven't subscribed to that uh, to this channel yet if you haven't pressed that red button yet do it right now and hit the bell icon because whenever we go live you will be notified first so let us get started what are we going to do in today's class we're going to complete two major and very important concepts solving equations having variables on both the sides and reducing equations to simpler form right so starting off with the first one solving equations having variables on both the sides so till now we have solved equations with one variable on one side hai na? so and then we isolated that variable and then we found the value by balancing method or transposing method now here how would you do how would you solve an equation when you have variables on both the sides so carefully look at the equation here 2x minus 3 equals to x plus 2 so now here just a minute what happened ha. so here as you can see 2x minus 3 is equals to x plus 2 there is variable on the left hand side there is a variable on the right hand side also so how do you solve it so the easy peasy way is to bring all the variables to one side and all the constants to one side either by using transposing method or balancing method we will go ahead with the transposing method so as you can see plus x when you take it to the other side it will become minus x plus 3 when you sorry minus 3 when you take it to the other side that is the right hand side it will become plus 3 so what did we do we brought all the variables to one side and all the constants to one side so basically we have isolated the variable x and found the value of the variable so it's the same thing that we have done earlier but just that we have variables on both the sides so after solving opening up the brackets and all bring the variables to the left hand side and constants to the right hand side again there is no rule key variable should always be on the left hand side it's just easy to find the value like that so we take the variables on the left hand side let's solve a question here so 5 minus of 2 of 3 minus x is equals to 4x plus 10. You can see variable on the left hand side and the right hand side. So first let's simplify by opening up the brackets. So here you have 5 minus minus 2 plus 3. So what is that you have here? Okay what happened to my vacuum? Okay minus 2 plus 3 will give you minus 6 right and then minus 2 multiplied with minus x will give you plus 2x equals 4x plus 10 so what is that we have here plus 5 minus 6 we have minus 1 plus 2x is equals to 4x plus 10 now we are going to get all the variables to one side and all the constants to one side so we are ending up having plus 2x minus 4x because plus 4x when I shift it to the other side will become minus 4x then you have plus 10 minus 1 when you take it to the other side will become plus 1 so what do you have here plus 2x minus 4x 1 is negative 1 is positive so we are going to subtract but since 4 is greater than 2 the sign in front of 4 will go to the answer so it will become minus 2x is equals to plus 11. So x here is minus 11 by 2. I know you can write it as 11 by minus 2 also. But the actual standard form is when you have the negative sign in the numerator. So this is how we will be solving step by step when you have variables on both sides. One more question. Let's do it. If you understood, you can pause the video here and solve it and then later check if you've got it right or wrong. So, let's solve it here. So, I am going to get minus 5x to this side. So, it will become 4x plus 5x. I will take plus 3 to that side. It will become 
21 minus 3. So here you have 9x is equals to 18. So what is the value of your x? 18 by 9 which is equals to 2. So the value of the variable x is equal to 2. Now how will you check if you have got this right or wrong? By substituting 2 in this in place of x. We are substituting the value of x which is 2. If our left hand side equals to the right hand side then you can say that the value is perfectly correct. Alright, let's move forward and I want you guys to solve for the value of t and let me know in the comment section. I will reply back to each and every correct answers. And the next one is reducing equations to simpler form. How can we do that? If there is a fraction, then uh, we take the LCM or open the brackets if there are brackets. Then move variables to one side and so on and uh, uh, constants to one side and solve them using our transposing method and write it in the simpler form. What do I mean by that? Let's take a question. So x minus 1 by x plus 2 equals 1 by 6. Is there anything that we can do around LCM here? Not required, right? There are no operators in either side. It is simply of the form a by b equals c by d. So remember you cannot have a variable in the denominator and here you do. So what do we do here? We are going to cross multiply. So 6 multiplied with x minus 1 equals to 1 multiplied with x plus 2. So here you have 6x minus 6 is equals to x plus 2. Bring all the variables to one side, constants to one side. So you have 6x minus x is equals to 2 plus 6. So what is 6x minus x? 7x is equals to 8. So x is equals to 8 by 7. Understood? Now this is what you would do if the equation is of the form a by b equals to c by d. Now here what is happening? It is of the form a by b plus some c equals to x by y. Something like this. Now here you will have to take the LCM on the left hand side. What is the LCM? The LCM here would be 3. So here you will have 6x plus 1. Now you will multiply with 3 on the numerator and denominator now because LCM. How do we add fractions? Same way. Plus 3 equals to x minus 3 by 6. So what do we have here? We have 6x plus 4 by 3 equals to x minus 3 by 6. So here you can cross multiply or you can cancel 3 into 1, 3 into 2 and then you can cross multiply 2 here and 1 here. So what are you left with? 2 multiplied with 6x plus 4 is equal to 1 multiplied with x minus 3 is x minus 3. Now we have brought it into the simpler form. This is our simpler form. And then we open up the brackets here. Bring all the variables to one side. So 12x minus, uh, minus x plus x. You take it to the other side. Minus x. Minus 3 minus 8 is equal to minus 11. So 11x is equal to minus 11. So what is the value of your x? Minus 1. So when it is of the form a plus b plus, sorry, a by b plus c equals to x by y, then you go with the LCM method. Otherwise, you simply have to crisscross, cross multiply and bring it to the standard form, simpler form. This is said to be simpler form, guys. All right. In this one, this is said to be in simpler form. Once you bring it to the simpler form, then you just have to solve it using our transposing method by bringing variables to one side and constants to one side. That's it. Easy peasy, pizza cheesy. Now, the next session, we're going to talk about the new chapter, Understanding Quadrilaterals, where we will be discussing about the different types of polygons that you have and some of the measures of the exterior angle of a polygon. Do not forget to like this video and share this video. Do let me know in the comment section what more videos do you want to see on this channel and I'll definitely come up with those. Alright, so thank you so much guys. You people were wonderful in today's class. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>